vivos porque queremos tierra y libertad. ¡Que viva México! ¡Bajo! ¡Mátame! ¡Mátame, cabrón! ¡Mátame! En 1910 a 1920, México was torn by internal strife. During the entire decade, the vast territory was devastated by bands of marauding bandits. Scenes of this kind were commonplace, as the various factions tried to dominate the others and bring order out of chaos. Billete para dónde? As far as this train is going. Hasta Durango. Very well. As far as Durango. Señor, señor, are you an American? Señor, do you like Mexico? No, not very much. in the middle of the track. A man? What is he doing? He's tied to the stake with chains. He's an officer. Is he alive? Yes, he's alive. Sergeant, take some in and go down on those tracks. On the double. Get down there and cut him loose. He's in the uniform of a captain. Qué pasa? ¡Mamá! ¡Estoy aquí! ¡Y el niño está contigo! ¡Sí, sí! ¡Aquí! 
Get the monkey train out of here! There's no place to take cover! Maganista! Go forward as far as you're able to! But be careful of the man on the track! All right, Lozada. <laughs> I can't go any closer. Sergeant Raul, go down and get that man clear. Please, Senor. Machado Gomez, go forward and don't tie him. Other Gomez. before we kill like sitting dogs. Decide. You must think. Tell me. You must think it out. Sergeant Raul! Answer me, por el amor de Dios! El sargento ha muerto! Officer, better listen. Toss out your guns and ammunition, and I'll let you go back home. i let you go back to your wife in one piece. Officer, listen. I'm getting impatient, do you hear that? And when I get impatient, I can get very mean, too. I'm not here. I'm heading for those rocks. You're sure to be trapped up there. Come back! <laughs> You know who they are? They're the men of that bandit Elias, the dirty swine. What are they after? Our arms, and they won't get one gun. Captain, give me orders. You dare to ask me? What kind of officer are you? Lieutenant, you're nothing but a coward. You know what has to be done. Do it. I know what my responsibilities are, Captain, but I don't want you to die! The life of one man is worth less than that of 60. All right. Would 
Muchachos, the officer is mine. Tell me you are the one who stopped the train for us. Yep. You mean you bumped off both those men? Yes, I found a pistol. Woo! <laughs> and with the end comes down, too. <laughs> Tell me, Nino, that's a neat little trick. Uh, how you manage it? Uh, how you manage to find a pistol all tied up like a big at market, huh? Like this. <laughs> Convinced, take it easy. Now tell me something. 
What did you do it for? You see, I was being taken to the frontier. The border? That's right. For what? There's a price in my head. Uh, and how much can you be worth? A young kid like you. Much less than a train. <laughs> <laughs> You're a smart young gringo. You want me to help you in exchange for the train? <laughs> bueno, niño. Now I'm in a hurry, so get those hands up. Get those hands up in the air. Hurry up. <laughs> All right, Nino, that makes us even. You can go home to your mother. <laughs> Muchachos, unload the guns. Don't bother with the passengers. Only the guns, you hear? And all the ammunition you can carry. Clean them out. The horses, too. Any machine guns? No, only rifles. Where the hell do they keep their machine guns? Keep looking. Vicente, any machine guns? No, Chunjo. Who are you? A man of God. How can a religious man live with these bandits? Christ died between two thieves, didn't he? Christ was always with the poor and downtrodden. If you were a good priest, you would do the same. Leave him alone, Pepito! You must have some respect for the dead! Who asked you? I am telling you, leave him alone! Damn him! Stopped the train for us. That was nice of him. Look at this. You want it? Adelita, I got it for you. Where are you headed for? Hey, Nino. Wherever you're going. You hear that, muchachos? This little boy wants to tag along with us. <laughs> What way? I don't want to be hanged. Oh, that's a good reason. <laughs> and besides, there's no place I'll be able to hold up in. I see. I stopped the train. And don't forget, you can use more men. You lost some today, didn't you? Yes, Matias, but you won't take his place. He was a man. Papo! What should we do with this Nino? Uh. Well, if he can shoot. Eh? Uh. If he can shoot, why not? You're right. Even with handcuffs on, he managed to get the engineer right in other. <laughs> if that's the case, we can use him. Bueno, 
Figaro. All right with me, but let's go. Repito. No, Chuncho, I'm against it. Why don't you like him? Because he's a gringo? No, because I'm just against it. He's a bit in love, can't think. Santo? He helped us, we have to help him. Right, Santo. But tell him that if he stays with us, he must stay with us always. How about that, Nino? Do you think we can trust you forever? If you weren't sure of that, why'd you shoot the handcuffs off me? Of course. Of course. That's true. That's true! That must be the reason. <laughs> muchachos! Muchachos! We found ourselves a new partner! <laughs> ah! Let's go! Please stop. I can't stand the pain. Stop. Easy. Easy. I can't stop here. Hang on a little longer. I can't. We must. We are almost there. Hey, Juncho. Uh, we got 60 rifles. Not bad. At 30 pesos each, how much is that? 16 times 30 is plenty. Makes 1,800. 1,800? Muchas gracias. There's 15 of us. How much is that ahead? I mean, 16. And Connie the Green. Madame Melino was practically dead. Why count him? That's right. Makes one less. So how much is that for each? 120 paces. 120, of course. <laughs> That's what I thought. You hear that? You earn 120 pesos. Satisfied? That's not much. Oh, uh, I know. One day we we'll pick up a machine gun. With one of those, we get more money. Mucho dinero. What's the matter, Nino? Nothing. What do you do with all these guns? We sell them. What else do you think we do with them? We have a good customer. Elias buy them? Madre mía. You mean our great bandit is also famous in the United States? I'm glad to hear that. Nino. Look here, this is our great Elias. He once gave me a medal when I rode with him. Ah, those were the good days. Picaro! Sing us a song of those wonderful days. For Emilino, who is going to die? I don't want to. I give you five pesos. Now sing! Ah, hey, muchachos! Let's be happy. We've had a good day. Let's sing. Vamos, Adelita! Forgive us. Forgive us, O oh Lord. Forgive us, because once again we have shed blood, and we have killed many of our brothers. But you know that we do this only because of the great love we have. And because of this great love, for all your children who suffer so... Is he mad? Because from all this blood and suffering... He's my brother. I'd never Hallelujah. have guessed that he's blonde. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what? Our mother is the same, but his father, who knows? We're very close. And he's the best of the lot. And he's not mad. He's blessed. He's very pure. He doesn't know that the arms we steal, we then sell for money. He thinks we give them away as a present. He believes Elias is doing God's work. Where do we deliver them? To General Headquarters. And where's that? In the mountains, you'll see. In these parts? Yes, in these parts. But first we have to pick up a lot more rifles and ammunition. Come on. No. Why not? 
because tonight I don't want to. Emilino? Yes? He's dead. Requiescat in pace. Amen. It gets cold here at night. Sleeping outside. Mignon, I think she likes you, Adelita. Keep your eye on Pepito. Good night. Doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, and doesn't want women. What are you interested in, Nino? Money. I want to see your commandant. Guard! Our commandant is busy. What business do you have with him, Gringo? I want to deliver those two outlaws. What did they do? They attacked a train on which I was traveling. Uh-huh. Were there any more of them? No, only those two. Only two can't be very dangerous. My, 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 my. And what are you, the drummer boy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's this, our country's flag? <laughs> I'll cheat you, car! Get inside! Go on, get moving! Come on, you pig! Inside! You two, come along. Keep going. Yeah. Don't push. Move faster. In you go, you pig. Go and call the commandant. Yes, sir. Hey, you. What kind of gringo are you? English? American. <laughs> American. American. Not too much hard, but plenty of dollars. And who gave you that medal, huh? Your bandit chief, for all our men you slaughtered. Maybe now it'll be our turn to slaughter you, eh? Should we shoot you today? Or should we shoot you tomorrow? Maybe we shoot you today. Maybe we shoot you tomorrow. What? Are you tearing my mustache That's off right. me? I'm tearing your mustache off you. Then I'll do something. Ah, you know. Stop! Stop that! Stop or I'll shoot! The commandant is coming. Where is he? Where is he? This senior Americano. I'm the commandant, Hernandez Montoya. <laughs> Get moving! Touch the little Let's get out of here, yeah! 
How is she? Blonde, brunette, she pretty. Gentlemen, I am pleased to inform you we are about to be visited by a beautiful woman. A marvelously beautiful woman. You there, help the senorita with her face. Fernando, break out a bottle of champagne. Hurry. Welcome, senorita. Muchachos, I was sent here instead of Dolores. Your waiting days are over. Easy, boys, take it easy with that trunk. Welcome to the bordello, sister. Chief for offers was only. Who are you, the virgin? No, we're in the same boat. We're all equal. One, two, three, four, five. I have a sister in a convent. She embroiders handkerchiefs very well. I used to embroider pretty things myself. Doña Dolores must think a lot of us to send such a pretty one. Hey, look! Huh? Where is she going? Senorita, por aquí! Por aquí, sistema! Tuan! Tuan! Sergeant! Order the company to stop the alarm! We're being attacked! Stop the alarm! Tuan! You're right. I'm all right. Shoot the man at the window. I get this one. Leo Gemio, get the gun. Is him gone? No, he's rocking. Take it easy, take it easy, my friend. We'll do anything you want, but please don't shoot us. Take it easy. Any machine guns in here, eh? No, only women. Hey, Be quick. I will. Wrong. What the hell kind of place is this that doesn't have one damn machine gun? Kill them all! Si atritas fuera con otro, la seguiría por tierra y por mar. Aim, fire! Keep still, you men. Have you lost your guts? Stop moving. How do you expect us to aim? Stop! No! No, please! Ah! Come on, let's go! Agua! Agua! Agua!
Keep moving, gentlemen. There must Forward. be some arrangement we can make. That's possible, but we don't have time for that. No, some other time. Now stand still so we can aim properly. Please, gentlemen, show a little dignity. No, to show weight. That's too good for them. Leave it to me. This you must leave to me. Vamos, vamos, rapido. What are you doing? in the river. This way you'll die. Very slowly. You'll have lots of time to beg forgiveness for your sin. Pronto, some other time you can preach, not now. Vamos, let's get out of here. Come on, muchachos. Vamos. Vamos a San Miguel. Tonight we'd be lying in comfort and not alone. What's wrong now? You afraid you won't be able to find a girl for yourself in San Miguel? You have no faith in yourself. Don't be so glum, Nino. Take my word, you'll find one. We must deliver the arms to Elias before going to San Miguel. Let's go. If you come to San Miguel first, you won't be sorry. Vamos. She's right. <laughs> Better come, or the enemy might catch you. <laughs> and then the holiday will be over. <laughs> Nino! <laughs> nah. Come on, Nino, vamos! Come on, Nino! I'll meet you at the dance. What happened to your arm, Raimondo? I've lost it. Where? It was in a battle last summer. Our chief said to me, Soldier, you've done all you can. 
Then he gave me some money and sent me home. Huh? And you? I? Oh, I, uh, I'm uh, always on the move with my boys, chasing the enemy. Relieving them of guns and ammunition. Plenty of guns. Get to Elias this I'm way. I'm happy. Elias can use everything. And who's this? He's a gringo and he's with us. He's a good boy, from the United States, Los Estados Unidos. The United States helps the rival forces. But that has nothing to do with our friend here. Perhaps. But his country helps the enemy. Uh, why is that? Why? I don't uh, associate with the President of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> They're not friends! And what do you think? <laughs> I? You see? Same opinion as Chuncho. We keep taking arms from our enemies and pass them on to Elias. It's simple. Offended. <laughs> oh well. Come on, Raimondo. We must celebrate our meeting with some drinking. Vamos! Wait a minute. First, we have to take care of Don Felipe. Who is he? Shut up, all of you. Who is this Don Felipe? He's the boss of this town. <laughs> Business first. Muchachos! We must help these people take care of the Don Felipe. Chucho is going to help us. Good. Here they come. I know. Rosario! What are you going to do? What you should be doing. No, no, Rosario, Get the don't. Cartridges. It won't do any good. No, Rosario, you're They'll making a mistake doing this. It's not you're a question a coward. of cowardice. Let Give me the gun. You. you talk it over. Let go. Raimondo is a reasonable man, at least. I just hope you don't make us look ridiculous. God, Rosario, I feel sick. No. Rafael! It's not fear. It's not fear, believe me. Rafael! Si, sí, senora. I'm ill, Rosario. Rafael, come here. Help me quickly. I feel oh. ill. Oh. Help me. My heart, I... Uh. You rest, my dear. I'll talk to this rabble for you. Hey, don't drink that. It's champagne. It'll make you sick, I know. But I'm thirsty. Drink something else. Keep out of sight till I call. Drink wine that isn't spoiled by so. bubbles. Pheasant. Is it good? I'll let you know. Buenos dias. Make yourselves at home. Won't you sit down? Beatrice? Henrietta? Bring some red wine and more food. Sit down, muchachos. You too, Adelita. Senora, where is Don Felipe? We've come here to talk with him. Senora, please, Senora. Would you pass a seat if you don't mind? Of course. Thank you. Senora, be so good as to call your husband. <laughs> My husband is in his room resting at the moment. Perhaps you can speak with me, it's the same. It's not the same, senora. But I assure you it is. You are... Raimundo, aren't you? Yes. Your family, I hope, is well. Since when are you interested in my family, senora? <laughs> well, now, you're here to ask for money. Is that so? No. Don't tell me. Seems to me... You never ask for anything else. It's true we ask for money, but your husband never gives us any. Instead, he gives us the bullets of those hired assassins. That's not true. He never calls them here to this village. You don't know the truth, senora. They have come many times. My husband was always against bloodshed. My husband is Your a... Your husband is responsible for our death. 
Let's not talk of what's past. Let's come to an understanding now. Reasonably. Hmm. Well, what is it you want of us? Land, Signora. Very well. We'll see what can be done about the land. Forget it, Signora. It already belongs to us. You bandits. See here, Signora. Yes? The fact is this, that these people here want to kill your husband. What for? Why do they want to kill him? Why do they? What's he done to your men? And why do you tell me, not the others? Because the others aren't in the habit of speaking out. They're like babies, afraid to talk. Don't argue with them, Rosario. It won't do us any good. It's useless. And so, Raimundo, you have then decided to murder me. Why? Is there a reason? Is it only because I'm a rich man? No, senor. It's because we are poor men. And you've done all you can to keep us that way. Who's this stranger? He works for our friend Elias. He's come here to help us in our struggle. Well, then maybe he can tell me why I am to be killed. Hmm. Maybe I can, and maybe I can't. Felipe! Felipe! What's going on in there? This work doesn't please us. But in this life, one must eventually die. Guapo. Eventually. Any more cheese? I would Guys. like to ask a favor of you. Anything you want, ask me. I'd like to say goodbye to my mother in there. And I want your word that she and my wife can go. Hmm. What do you say, Raimundo? Bueno. All right. You promise? I promise. But make it quick. Goodbye. Excuse me if I occasionally disappointed you. I only meant the best for you. Hmm. What is it, Felipe? What do those men want? Nothing, Mother. I just have to go somewhere with him. Felipe. What kind of rifle is that? It's a precision one. Not bad. You like it? And then take it, he's a present. <laughs> Bandits! Cowards! Don't go! Get out of here! Wait a minute. Get out of here! Get out! Get out, all of you! Get out of my house! Keep Bandits! it up! Yeah. <laughs> I'll notify the army! Thieves! I'll see you all hanged! I've told you to get out! You're filth! You're a killer! You're bad. all killers! <laughs> I'm sorry. You'd better get ready for your trip, Senora. You sure you want to leave, Senora? What a pity. I'm a man who likes women with red hair. Haven't you given her husband your word of honor? My word disappears with the wind, Nino. Don't torture me. Let me go. No, you don't. First, you must have a little party to celebrate your freedom. Ah. We haven't time to fool around here anymore. Why are you so concerned? I was only 15 when a man just like her, Don Felipe, raped me. Why should his woman be treated different? Why? Adelita, Adelita, look. Look what I found for you. Isn't it pretty? Come, we'll try it on. <laughs> Come on, Nino, join the party. This is the way you people expect to get rich. Huh. Don't talk like that, Nino. Anyone who wastes his time on foolishness will never get rich. You get me angry. You hear that? The kid wants our senora. <laughs> <laughs> the senora prefers being with us. <laughs> Can't you see you disgust me? You stink like a goat. Who stinks like a goat? <laughs> Ay, Chuncho. 
Why did you do that? You were choked. Why? Juncho! What have you done? Why? Why did you kill Guapo? Because Guapo was about to kill Nino. And Nino, he's a friend of mine. And wasn't Guapo a friend of yours, too? Guapo, he's no more. Don't worry about him. Hey, Eufemio, what's going on outside? <laughs> Plenty. Don Felipe has an automobile. Come out and see it. An automobile? <laughs> Come, we go for a ride. <laughs> Adios, Rafael. Satisfied? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Go to San Miguel in your automobile. <laughs> this is a great day for us. Come the horn, Chico. Come the horn. <laughs> <laughs> What's that thing? It is the gear shift. What's it for? For shifting gears. Oh. It's for shifting gears. I don't get it. Look, the horses are passing us. Hey, stop those horses. Don Felipe, what kind of a car is this that can't go any faster than my horses? Because we are too many. Oh, here that you go. Take it off, beat it. Beat it, I tell you! Ah, come on, you two! Oh. Oh. Oh, that's better. <laughs> now let's get moving, rapido! <laughs> I like this. <laughs> to tell you that we will not leave the village of San Miguel without a chief. We shall now elect a new leader. A new leader for the people of San Miguel. No, no, no. You can hear them. You must be crazy. I'm not inside. They want to. No, 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 please, 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 don't leave us like this. They won't. My friends, silence, John. It's not possible. First of all, because I'm not a native of San Miguel. Second, because I'm a fighter and must keep on fighting. Third thing, because I don't know how to read or even write. And a leader must know all these things. Raimondo, you know how to read and write? No, I don't. Who among you people can read and write? 
Pedrito! Eh? I know who. Pedrito! No, not me, please, not me. Pedrito, Pedrito. come up here with us. Let the boy get through. No, please, not me. Don't let him pass. What can I do? No, not him. Come here. You sure you know how to read and write? Si, senor. But good. Pretty well. And your father, is he rich or poor? He's poor, but he's a peasant. Uh, how come you know how to read and write so well? My teacher is the priest. Uh. Uh. Love your village, Pedrito? Yes, very much. You really mean that? I really mean it, I do. He says that he really means it, and he does. <laughs> it seems to me he's a bit too young, our Pedrito. But then, many of our new leaders are young men. Am I right? <laughs> it's my honor to present to you the new headman of San Miguel. Music and wine for all. Lovely, Arlita. What's the matter, Gringo? Nothing. I just want to apologize for not noticing it before. Well, I'm glad you finally got around to it. How nice of you. I thought you didn't like women. But I was wrong. You do. Don't you? Are you scared? Is it Pepito? No. Then who? Complications. Oh. I see. That's too bad. Then why did you come here? To say goodbye. I'm leaving. But so are we. When? Tomorrow. No. You'll never tear Tuncho away from the applause. That's not true. He prefers hearing that than to go back to fighting. Oh, I see. He likes the cheers of these drunk peones. That Tuncho's a liar. I won't stay. I want my money. Does Pepito know that? Not yet. Where is that fool anyway? Pepito! Pepito! Que pasa? Come over here. I want to speak to you. And don't drink so much. What is it? I'm really fed up. I want you to make a decision. I don't want to spend the rest of my life on a horse, waiting for money from bandidos. Adelita, I don't understand you. Oh, no, you don't. Why do you think we're wasting time here just for Tuncho to sing and for you to get drunk? Why don't we get married like you promised me? I want to go. But you know, when this is over, we'll settle down. This trip is finishing right here. Ask the gringo. What is she saying? I was only telling her that Chuncho has no intention of leaving this town. Who told you? Go ask him. He's there. 
Well, what are you waiting for? Go ask him! Ask him! If you like, I'll take you up north with me to my country. What do you mean? The United States? You are joking. Hey, you like me? Sure, I like you very much. Vamos. With pleasure. <laughs> Juncho. What? I want to talk to you. Mañana. No, no. When are we leaving here? I'll tell you when. When I say so. When I'm good and ready. Let's go. I'll be right with you. Now you get out of here. I'm sorry about these bad manners. How come 20 cartridges, Just eh? enough for you to kill 20 of the enemy. Careful. I don't know how to use a Let rifle. Give it back to me. Hey, come here. Where are you going? I no. A machine gun. I found a machine gun. Did you tell Tonto? Not yet. A machine gun? Yes, we found a machine gun in the warehouse with a lot of ammunition. At last. And it's new, never been used. Where is it? I'll show you. Vamos. Where are you off to, sweetheart? It gets up 25 shots at a time. I don't believe it. It's not possible. You can kill a thousand men. Out of my way. It's beautiful. It's lovelier than any woman. Those trenches have to be finished. <laughs> Keep digging. <laughs> hey, Santo, if anyone attacks us, we'll be ready for them, won't we? <laughs> this time we have a machine gun on our side. Makes all the difference, no? <laughs> we also have the laws on our side, Chuncho. Not ready. We've been waiting for you. Ready for what? To be on our way. And you? You're going with the Nino? No. It's the gringo who's coming with us. Come with us, Chuncho. The party's over. <laughs> There's a lot of money waiting. And what's waiting for us here? Another attack? We must not leave the people of San Miguel unprotected. They will be massacred. What do you want? That we'll get massacred too? No, we didn't come here for that. But we have all this ammunition. And the machine gun as well. There's a possibility, isn't there? But why risk our lives? There's no point. Well, we might pick up some more guns this way, don't you see? It's better we wait here. No, we have enough now. And we've reached our lives enough, too. So that's it, amigos. I mixed up with a lot of old women. Maybe so. But an old woman alive is better than an old woman dead. Amigo, an old woman remains an old woman. That's all right. In that case, I want my part of the arms. Give it to him. How much does he get? Thirty rifles. And the ammunition, too. Four cases. 
Line up, hombre. Everybody line up here. I'm going to hand out rifles and ammunition. Come over and take a look at these bunch of old women who are running out of San Miguel. Ha, ha. Come and look at these heroes. Ha, ha. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Nino. I don't include you in this. You're a gringo. Why should you care about us? I would go just the same. Even if you were a Mexican? Why do you feel you have to stay? To help these people. Are they worth it? Of course. Aren't they human? Same as us, same as you. Come here, old man. He's a people, Nino. Poor and filthy, but he's a human being. Same as all of us. Look here. Well, there's no barber here. He doesn't use perfume, but he's a man, same as me, same as you. Go, go. Understand me now, Nino. No. Gringo! Are you coming? Let's go. Adios, General Chucho. Chucho, they can probably get along without your help. You have to look out for yourself. You just can't do any more. You coming with us? No, I'm staying here. Adios. Adios. Get your gold! All you can think of is gold. For money, you sell out your friends. Come on, let's go. This isn't a room, and it isn't a peak. Is it a peak? Is it a peak? No. So tell me, no, no. Eh? It's a rifle, a Mauser, a real rifle. Look at it, everyone. Nice, huh? <laughs> you draw the bolt. Close it. You lock it, huh? Eh? You aim it. You fire it. Clear? Oh, you try. <laughs> try it, Pablo. It doesn't look difficult. <laughs> Draw the bolt. Close it. Lock it. Now aim it. Now shoot it! <laughs> Who, oh, me? No. Then whose is it? <laughs> is that all? Are we finished with our lesson? <laughs> I'm asking myself why I stay with you. Yes, why? <laughs> and why you want to stay with me? Why? Huh? Why? Because we like each other. <laughs> Where are you going? Juncho, it wasn't we do wrong. Give us another chance. The lesson is over. You can kill each other now. Let's 
Not good. Get the machine gun. That's enough. Go home and play. Beat it. But I'm lonely. Leave me alone. I don't want you. Go on, get inside. If you do. Get away from there. Yeah. What's the matter? She bothers me with that nonsense. I'm too worried. You know, I was thinking, maybe I shouldn't have let them leave San Miguel. It would have been better if we were all here with the guns and ammunition. Thirty Mausers and the machine gun mm. are all we need. As long as you and I remain, no one can get in uh, here. I know, I know all that. However, Elias can make better use of these arms than we can. Who knows? I wonder if Elias will ever see all those rifles. Why? Because I'm not so sure that Nino and those other know-nothings will find their way to him. But the way it was explained. I told them up there in the mountains, by the Gran Sierra. What else could I say? I couldn't draw them a map, could I? But Elias needs those guns. I know. Don't you think I know? Uh -huh. Beat it, I'm busy! I have an idea. If we could be sure that no raiders come this way in the next couple of days, I could follow their trail, catch up with them, and return here. It's possible, huh? But it is important for you to stay. Yes, yes, Santo, I know, I know. Tonto! We've been robbed. They took away our machine gun. Are you sure? When? This morning, before they left here. They took it in your name. In my name? Who did? I don't know what you call them. The one who always sings. That's Picaro. Uh, yes. You hear that? You are the one who knows how to read and write. <coughs> Santo! I'm leaving. Where is my horse? Suncho, give me your sombrero. Yeah! Ah! Come back quickly, brother! Juncho! Eh, you come back! Don't worry! Tomorrow I'll return with the machine gun! Ha! <laughs> yeah! You old mule! Vamos! Yeah! Yeah! Come back! Muchacha bonita, ya no andaría por estos caminos de Dios si yo tuviera. Hey, it's Soncho. And 
tunnel if you steal a machine gun again using my name. Is that clear? Are you happy? Can we move on? What's the matter? We're not going to take the arms to Elias's place. It's much too risky. We could be seen. There's another place where we can get Elias's money with less danger. Let's get going. Then you don't want to meet Elias. Of course I do, Nino. Uh. But for now, I'm satisfied to look at the photograph I got. Amuchacha. Vamos, yeah. vamos. <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> he must be coming to pay us. <laughs> Here come the others. No. It's an attack. Pepito. Pepito. We are being attacked. Pepito. Where are the others? Over there in the well. What's the matter? It's an attack. Get them with ammunition! Come on. Nino, the machine gun! All right, you have the guns for us. Of course we do. But why are you alone? Where are the others? They've been captured. We're being surrounded. Grab a gun.
that Nino. I'm going out there. I'll take care of him. And you think you are going, eh? Stop! I have to shoot you! It's a lucky thing you brought that machine gun along. <laughs> You're not getting away! without money. Where's the money? Could it be that he didn't bring along any? Oh, did you take it, Nino? <laughs> Yes, and I've spent it all, too. That's nice. Now we must go directly to Elias. And Vicente has been killed. Where's Ayo Femio? Dead. Pepito. Adelita, what are you doing? I'm going. You can't run away. I'm going. Muchacha, in this life one can die too. And what about your share of the money? Have you got the money? No, not on me. But if you come up to the camp with us, we'll divide it three ways. Do you have any money? I don't understand you. I don't know what you're up to. And I don't like you anymore, Nino. Pepito's there. Do we have to lose time burying him?
Come down. You rest here. Serious, Nino. It's just that you're not used to this rough life. There now. With a little bit of heat, you'll be good as new, Nino. No. It's malaria. Malaria? Please get the pills I have in my valise. What do you want from your valise? A little tube of quinine. Uh -huh. A little tube of quinine. Many. Huh? Four. Unos. Dos. Ah. I give you a better medicine, Nino. You chew this. Chew this. It's good. It's mezcal. It's good for the whole body, for the head even, for lovemaking, Nino. Now go to sleep. And dream. Aquí está Chunchel del Tambor, castigo de los gobiernos. Viene dispuesto a mandar malditos a los infiernos. Drink this, Nino. Thanks. Huh? Chuncho. Huh? I don't understand you. You keep wasting time here when you should do other things. Like what? Like moving on, for example. Shouldn't we go to Elias and get the cash to us for the rifles? I was... I was waiting for you to feel better. El día en que yo nací, vieron cielos y mares. Vente conmigo, mi... Chucho, huh? you ever hear of a hotel named Morelos in Ciudad Juarez? I don't know anything about hotels. If we have to separate, Chuncho, we'll meet there. Huh. What makes you think we'll have to separate, we two? I just don't like to take chances. Uh, <laughs> nothing will happen to us, amigo. <laughs> By the way, Nino, how come you have a bullet made of gold in your valise? Huh? <laughs> it uh, brings me good luck. Uh. This brings it for me. I see. We both have good luck, huh? <laughs> vamos, vamos. Elias's camp isn't very far off. 
You know what, Nino? All that money will be ours. There's no one left to split it with. Yeah! Hey, Juncho! You still alive? El Juncho never died. What's happening up here? Nothing much. We need more guns. Did you bring them? I sure did. Get up there. Vamos. Was it rough? It was more than that. This is a paradise. A paradise of hunger. Oh. Not much to eat, huh? Less than nothing. I've got a machine gun for Elias. Thanks, Chuncho. Hombre, is my friend that gringo? Vamos, yeah. Adios. Hey, kids. Which one of you is the oldest? Here. Divide it equally, understand? Peace for each of you. Hurry it up. Two. Two. Wait a minute. Count them. Five. Five. Three. Three. Do you like Mexico? I still don't. What are you doing here? Why don't you return to your own country, <laughs> huh? I sell arms here. It's a living. I'd never sell arms to people I didn't like. <laughs> That's because you're not a professional. You should learn from Senor Elias. He never asks questions, just buys the guns and pays. Adios, Chico. Adios. survivors in that village they attacked? Not many. Are they here? Yes, sir. They're over in the church. Many dead? Yes, sir. Many. Hombre. Senor. This is a machine gun. Look at it. Fantastic, eh? It's the most modern one to be used with bullets used for a Mauser. 
Ohren. Machine gone in good shape. Let's go, hurry. Finishes it. How much? What's that? I say, how much? Five thousand pesos. Bueno. But before you get paid, Elias wants you. With pleasure. Let's go. They fought as bravely as they could, but they had no guns. That's a pity. There was nothing they could do. Senor Elias, that man you want to see is here. Come in, Junjo. Salute, Senor Elise. I, I have a photograph with you, the both of us together. Sit down. Huh. It's been a long time since you fought with us, eh, Junjo? Now you're back to talk only of money. And of all the arms I just brought you, you have heard about the machine gun. It's a beauty, I tell you. Yes. What's the total, Tomas? It's not very much. Five thousand pesos. Pay him. This time, Junjo, you've made a good bargain. Gracias, Senor Elias. One moment, Junjo. I must first ask you a question. Who, me? Sit down. Just three days ago, there was a raid carried out against the town of San Miguel. All of the inhabitants were killed because they had no arms they could fight with. It was a massacre. Is that so? That's so. One man could have avoided this massacre, but that man preferred to desert his friends. Can there be such a man? No. And if there was, what is he? A coward. And what should I do? You must kill him. All your companions of San Miguel are dead. All of them. And you earned yourself 5,000 pesos. You must kill me. Ramirez! 
Yes, sir, I'm here, senor. No, I must carry out the punishment. He's my brother. My blood. And you? What do you say to that? What's there to be said? Who knows? Maybe death won't be so bad if my brother does the shooting. Here, cashier, take this. Where I'm going, I won't need money. Adios, Junjo. Adios. Take good care of my machine gun. Muchachas. No, no, not here, Sando. I don't like this place. It smells as if pigs live here. Let's keep going. A, a bit further up there. Sando, don't you want to hear my confession? Don't you want to absolve me? Well, what you have done there is no absolution. Prepare yourself. Yes, but you told me God was good, uh, generous. <laughs> God is. I am not. All right, where do we stop? Have you decided? Where I throw my sombrero. Where will you shoot? Here. Or there. Wherever you prefer. And there. was shot with a bullet made of gold. <laughs> Senor Elias is dead. No paper, if you don't mind. Why not? It's just the same. No, it's not. You said you would pay me 100,000 pesos in gold. In gold? You know, I'm surprised you were successful. Why is that? 
You're quite a young man. That's exactly what you said when I first came here to see you. But I was still old enough to do what you wanted me to. Tell me, how were you able to save yourself? I was lucky. Not so fast. Let me see, please. For services rendered paid in full. Senor Tate, there are many bandits running loose in my country. Should we be in further need of you, where shall I find you? Should I be in need of gold, I'll find you, don't worry. Adios. Adios. Keep the chain. Senor, senor, give us some pesos. Please, senor. Please, please, senor. Please, senor. Please, senor. Please, senor. Please, senor. Get out of here. How many times have I told you not to bother the client? Go away. Go away. Before I call the police. And you, when you think you are going, you cannot come in here. He has a gun. Stop that. Leave that man alone. But he is dangerous. He was carrying a pistol. So what is my friend? <laughs> it's only a joke. It's unloaded. Where have you been? I've been waiting. Don't you think we ought to call the police? Get out of here. All of you. Take it. Don't shoot it right away. Wait five minutes. I left a package with you yesterday. I'd like to pick it up. Certainly. Certainly, Senor Tate. Just one moment. You wish to take it with you, eh? Be on the safe side. I kept it locked up. Ah, here it is. The package and the letter. To be held for Senor Chuncho Munoz. Mm. Now read the letter. Dear Chuncho, I have been waiting for you for more than a week, but now I find I must leave town. And close is the 50,000 pesos that belongs to you. It's about half of what I earned with your help. I hope we'll meet again one day. Thanks Hello. for everything. It's yours. Uh, Senor Tate, one moment. The gentleman must first sign for it. Come on. Find it on the bottom. Make an X, it's all right. That's fine. Come along, you're going upstairs. You want me to call the police? No. They might be friends, I don't want trouble. A trick, maybe. Oh, no. If I wanted to trick you, I would have gone off with all the loot. That's right. But why? Why did you murder Elise Nino? All right, I know. Yes, I know. I know why. Because of all this money you got for it. Didn't you see what a great man he was? With only one bullet, you've earned yourself more than you could ever earn in your entire life, you know. That's true.
And my brother, why did you kill him? To stop him from killing you. That's true. Very true. What's the matter, Chuncho? I don't know. I came here to murder you, Nino. But now I don't know. Quién sabe? You have scruples? All right, if you have scruples, why don't we do it like this? I'll take all the money. Hands ah, off no my scruples. money. I was the one who took you to Elias. With this money, even in the United States, I will be rich. Mm -hmm. You're a rich man now, Chuncho. And it's about time you looked like one. Tomorrow I must go up to the United States, uh, but I will return and uh, be sure to look for you because I like you very much. How did you do last night? Not bad. She's quite a woman. How much did you give her? Nothing. I never pay. <laughs> How come you never have to pay, Chuncho? Because they love me. And I'm always very good to them in return. I'm satisfied. But when you pay, you don't risk complications. In your country, maybe that's true. I don't know. But <laughs> here we don't put a price on everything. Nino! Hey, baby. Get out of my way. But I was here first. And now I'm here. Life is more interesting this way, full of surprises. Who does this Wingo think he is? It's always like this. Senor, limpia el zapato. Buy yourself some bread. No. I said no. Buy food with it. Are you ready? Tell me, Chuncho, have you ever taken a train before? Thirteen or eleven times. No, I mean as a passenger. Passenger? <laughs> no, never. <laughs> You'll find this more comfortable. Nino, if we're going up to the United States, won't it be dangerous? Didn't you tell me there is a reward out for you? No, that was only a trick to convince you to let me join your outfit. Huh. And the handcuffs? I took them off a dead soldier. I see. But how come you knew we'd attack that train? I had to join up with bandits to find Elias. So for two weeks, I rode all trains that carried arms. Praying I'd rate the train. That's right. Nino, you're a very intelligent boy and you never make mistakes, huh? You can save the compliments. You've been Jump on, train a good leave. friend to me, haven't you? Isn't that true? I like you. It's a shame I have to kill you. No, no, Nino. No, no. I'm, I'm finishing. But Chuncho, that's nonsense. I made you into a rich man. Things. Why do you have to murder? Now then, I must hurry up and kill you. I must, Nino. I must. Why should you want to kill me? Quién sabe? Tell me why you must do it. Quién sabe? But what do you mean, quién sabe? You know the reason. You must know. I don't know Wait, why don't, I'm. Don't, don't. I only know I must kill no. you. Wait a minute. Tell me what. Yeah. <laughs> Go back to the United States, Nino! <laughs> and 
don't buy bread with that money, hombre. Buy dynamite, dear. Yeah. Dynamite! Para 